Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2024 and another part of this Newcastle United series where we have gone forward quite a bit in time since the last episode. Last time out we had started to get back into the swing of things. We had beaten Manchester City 2-1 even with Tonali being sent off and then we qualified for the last 16 of the Champions League despite Dan Juma getting a 93rd minute goal for Villarreal in that match. Since then, we have been knocked out of the FA Cup. I played a strong 11 against West Ham, but it wasn't enough. They dispatched us routinely enough, uh, and they are a team alongside Aston Villa that we have struggled against before. Then we took on Napoli in the last game. We won 4-0 despite going down to 10 men in the first half, which was a very nice outcome. Isaac Doyle, Ayorzabal, Fakundu Torres all on the scoreline. We then beat Luton 2-0 in the league, and that really kick-started a run of results, so set us up nicely for the end of the season. Ayozabella, Joe Linton scoring there. We then won 5-1 with Isaac, Brace, Ayozabella, Torres, and Joe Linton again. Brentford, Joe Linton continued his goal-scoring form as we won 2-0. But then we had a shock as we were beaten 2-0 by Everton, Braithwaite, and Sedilek with the goals for them uh, and we were at home in that game just came absolutely out of the blue we were not able to perform but we bounced back to win 5-2 against Leeds the goals finally flowing for us in a way they haven't for quite some time and then in the last 16 of the Champions League I didn't show the first game just because we were drawn against Copenhagen we managed to win 3-2 away from home uh, we had to equalise twice before we then got the winner through Anthony Gordon. Both of Jean Neves' goals were classic Frank Lampard-esque finishes from the edge of the area. And then we got revenge over West Ham after that FA Cup defeat with a 3-1 win at home. 2 for Zach, 1 for Jean Neves. And that sets us up well as we take on Copenhagen in the Champions League at home with an away win already in the bag. Then we have Leicester and Chelsea to come. Now the Premier League... Prepare yourself, it is tight. Arsenal are top of the table on 60 points, that's all they've got. Uh, and we are second on 59. Then there are three teams tied on 58. And then you have Spurs on 57. Even Liverpool are only seven points back. This is not a massive, massive leave. Lead And Liverpool have got three games in hand as well. So if they win all those, they would go to 62 points. Chelsea, if they win, would go to 61 points. It is so, so tight around the top of the table. Um, so, I mean, this is a really difficult fixture running. We've got Champions League knockout football. And then we've got Chelsea, United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Spurs. Literally every single one of our title rivals to play before the end of the season. So... We've skipped a lot of games through the middle of the season uh, in the, uh, in this series so far, but I think we're really in the business end now. And we'll probably need to play every single game and watch the dynamics of how those fixtures move. Now, first up, we have to play Copenhagen. I'm putting out the strongest 11 with Hernandez and Ayuso Bell now finally having that uh, connection down the left flank. So the team is pretty much set up. This is our strongest 11. Um, and hopefully today we can get the win that we need to put us into the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time. Um, although, did we get to the Champions League quarterfinals before? I think we've only ever made it in the 90s. We only ever made it to the second group stage of the Champions League in their very old format. Uh, so, yeah, I think this would be for the first time. Um, now... This should be fairly routine. We won 3-2 away from home, but they did take the lead twice, so who knows, as Larson steps up. Oh, I thought I'd gone in for a second, but it just went over and away. Now, you can see some of the other teams trying to get through. Atletico Madrid, Lens, Bayern, uh, Barcelona, Manchester United, Liverpool. He was about with a corner, and it's gone over from Botman. Couldn't get that one in the back of the net. Free kick now from Kieran Trippier. Plays it short to Gordon. Oh, that's a really well-worked free kick. And Gordon moves to 10 goals this season with a Champions League knockout game-leading goal um, as we take the lead. Really nicely done. Trippier assist. Gordon goal. And it is 1-0 to Newcastle. Um, the other games, Liverpool now beating Benfica, who did very well in uh, finishing in the top eight. To make it to this stage, Rooney now puts the ball in. It is cleared away. We do have a two-goal advantage, and we nearly needed it then. 
uh, as that one just goes over the top and away. Pope now plays it out. Finds Trippier. He's hugging the byline. Gordon's lost it. He's going to try and win it back, and he has. That is what he does. He tackles high up the pitch. Scalvini now to Gordon. Just looking for that ball forward. And they've got Gordon now, and there it is. That quick touch in behind two to Nally, but he has been robbed. Keeper clears it. Botman to Bruno. Over the top for Gordon. Heads it in. Tonali's there. And he's tackled in the box. And that is going to be a penalty. VAR will double check that decision. But it will almost certainly be a penalty for us here. To basically wrap up this game with a goal. Isaac to take. Isaac to score. And it is 2-0. His 27th of the season. We can switch to a more cautious approach. I'm not too worried about our ability to hang on to this uh, victory. But I also just don't want to take unnecessary risk at this point in the season. If we can keep it as a three-goal advantage at the early point of the second half, then we can start to take players off, rest them, and look forward to our Premier League game against Leicester. Ball there over the top. Scalvini is able to deal with it. Now Bruno at the heart of everything in midfield. Isaac to Gordon. Bruno out wide to Trippier. Four, five, six, seven players to his left, and he picks out Isaac who tucks it home, 3-0 now, and we are absolutely cruising in this game. Let's go even more defensive now, uh, just to see this out. Bruno played it out wide to Trippier. He charged across towards the byline, and there were, I mean, look at the sheer number of players in the box there, uh, and Isaac was a yard from goal, ready to tuck it home, and that's two assists for Kieran Trippier today, as we are cruising towards the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And this will also bring in more money, which should improve our transfer budget as the Yuzabal takes a free kick. Joe Linton's up there. It is just cleared away. Bruno now swings it in. Off oh, the crossbar, very close there, Gordon, to a fourth goal for us. But this is definitely all over as far as Copenhagen are confirmed, are, uh, are concerned. Liverpool look like they're going to go through as well. Trippier here with the throw in. Gordon. Trippier comes through to Nally. Into Isaac. And that was a hat trick, mate. You've just skied that one over the bar. But he very nearly got the hat trick. I'm sure there'll be more goals to come. I think it's probably time to make some key changes. Take the big names off. Callum Wilson come on, can come on. Elliot Anderson can get some game time, I think. Teo Hernandez off for Doyle. Trippier off for Liveramento. And then keep one in reserve just in case somebody gets an injury that we need to take off. Don't particularly mind if Scalvini gets another yellow card. He's prone to get them. Although Tonali struggling here, so I will just bring Xiao Neves on for the last 20 minutes or so. But this game is absolutely done. 0.09 XG created for a team that needs to score four goals just to force extra time. As we run this clock down, Gordon just struggling for fitness, but no more substitutions. Livermento's got a throw in, plays it over to Joe Linton. Oh, big tackle, but Joe Linton manages to keep it. Anderson from the left, bringing it forward, but Dix gets there. Great name. Clarsen, back to Vavro. Peterson, sent forward. And Rooney has won it. And they are looking a bit menacing the way they're building up here. And Gordon gets a good tackle in despite being shattered. Joe Linton charging into the area. Big tackle. Gordon back towards Anderson. It's come to Doyle. And Doyle continues to score even though he's not playing regularly with Teo Hernandez now in the team. But he has clinically finished that one for a seventh goal of the season for a player that has basically only been at left back and occasionally centre back. I don't remember him scoring from a corner before. Brilliant finish from him. He's going to be an absolute star. And it's nice that we've got Hernandez. Hernandez is first team ready, playing most teams in the Champions League final. Um, but he is 27, 28. So longer term, Doyle's the player that we're looking at at left back. And he looks excellent so far. And we have got through. Liverpool go through. Barcelona go through. Atletico Madrid squeak through. 3-2 against Len. I think I'd quite like to play Atletico Madrid out of those teams that have managed to go through. Oh, lots of money going out because of our extravagant bonuses before I took over. Um, but we can look forward to the Champions League games. 
Just wondering if we've got, well, if the, um, if the draw comes up, I will check back in and we'll watch that live because it'll be fun to see who we're getting in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. But up next is a game against Leicester in the Premier League. Well, the draw hasn't taken place yet, but we are ready to take on Leicester. We're at home for this one. Torres is going to come in down the right. Neves and Willock come into central midfield. And Gertrudia is in defence. We've got an injury to Botman. He's out for four weeks, which is a shame. So we're in a very difficult crunch period. But he should be back before the end of the season. A few changes, but we should be beating a team like Leicester reasonably comfortably. When you look at the team they've got, Connor Cody as captain and Didi, Dewsbury Hall, Mavidi, Iheanacho, it's the same team that got relegated a couple of years ago, less, uh, without rather, some of their key players. So we should be winning this one. We need to win this one if we're going to hang on to our place near the top of the table. Yours about puts a corner in. Come to João Neves. He's got support. Winks clears it though. We need to clean that up. And Teo Hernandez does exactly that. Doyle sends it back. Now go to Dia. Out wide to Trippier. Finds Torres, people in the box there, well, Yozbal's one of them, and it started with his corner, and then you go forward another 30 seconds, and he has planted that one into the top of the net. 1-0, we lead Leicester now, so looking pretty comfortable at this point. Torres swung the ball in nicely, and Yozbal, he does have great physical stats, and you can see them there. Uh, as we take a 1-0 lead against Leicester. Let's have a little look at this league table as well. And that does take us to the top. You can see Leicester way down towards the relegation places. Uh, so we should really be winning this one. And we've got another throw in here with a Yorzabal. Teo Hernandez to a Yorzabal. Jean Neves. Trippier's arriving and denied. Trippier does not score many goals, it has to be said. He gives a lot of assists, but very few goals. Um... Now a corner from Ayurzabal. Neves loses it. Ayurzabal. Oh, just over from Torres there. Not too bad. As we push for the second goal that would just make sure we're not completely exposed if we give one away. Looks like Liverpool still got... I mean, they had four games in hand on us. But if we keep winning, then they will slip up in that run of fixtures. But they're probably my biggest worry at the moment. I mean, Arsenal... Probably decent, but they've kind of come out of nowhere to be this far up the top of the table. It really is Liverpool that I'm worried about. And we haven't got long to half time here, but we're in control. We just need to be a little bit more clinical. Only 1 0 as we go in at half time. Uh, but I will take that. And we're doing all right. Might look to make some changes at some point. Get through the now with a free kick. It is the international break, so no need to make changes. It's more the complacency element of it. As the ball comes to Trippier. Takes a touch, and it is denied again. He doesn't quite have the uh, clinical finishing that Doyle has from defence, but he is quite good at set pieces as he swings this in and fails to do well from the set piece. Only five minutes into the second half, and we're already generating a plenty of chances. Oh, Jean Evers, don't get sent off. Well done. Bruno cleaning up the mess a bit. Teo Hernandez now. Pushing down the left flank. Swings it in. Isaac off the bar. He's got to be able to finish that. Ball comes out. Doyle's there. But cleans up. Half an hour left to go. Might have to drop to a more cautious approach. Because I don't want to concede while out trying to get a second goal. Let's be strategic. You can see they had a little uh, portion of play where they were doing quite well. Probably could have scored around that time. They haven't had much XG though. Just going to make a couple more changes. Bruno's tired and on a yellow card, which is not a great combination. Isaac's struggling, so Wilson can go on up top. Less than 10 minutes to go. Another change being suggested. I think Teo Hernandez maybe needs to come off. Trippier probably needs to come off as well. But they're the ones on the attack. See if we can make both of those changes. We can. 
And the ball's come to Elmer on cutting side really nicely there. Tackle, but it's Chow Neves to Torres. Takes a touch, takes a finish. Eight goals for him this season. He moves ahead of Doyle in the scorer charts, which is not something that I think uh, Torres will be too happy about, that they are as close as they are. But Chow Neves did well, and this was a nice touch and finish from Torres there. Absolutely clinical. It makes sure of the victory and that 2-0 advantage should see us home. We'll go defensive, try and keep a clean sheet, try and make sure Leicester can't dream of a comeback, but that will put us two points clear at the top of the Premier League as it stands. A really nice place to be. So well done to the boys, and we head into the international break. Top of the table for now. Will we be top of the table afterwards? That's a real question. Looks like must be a lot of FA Cup games going on. That's my only guess here. Let's see if there's any Sunday fixtures, potentially. I think there are a few. Just have a quick look at how this comes out. Chelsea won, but yeah, it looks like they are FA Cup fixtures. Liverpool knocked out by Spurs, and Arsenal required extra time to beat West Ham. So, looking ahead to the next game, we're going to be away from home against Chelsea. It's a big match, and then next episode, Champions League quarterfinals, Burnley to come as well. That will be a tough little run of fixtures. Uh, so let's jump ahead to this Chelsea game and see if we can get the win. Time to play Chelsea now to continue this excellent run of form. I mean, take out that Everton defeat and we have been absolutely perfect recently. We've even kept two clean sheets in a row for the first time in a little while. But Manchester United next and then we have Atletico Madrid, Burnley, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal and Liverpool to come. So huge, huge games to go. Um, we need to get this win. Man United are going to be really tough as well. Um, the way we're going to start here, you can see that uh, we're going to be playing with Callum Wilson starting this game. Isaac is not quite fit enough, but we can always bring him off the bench if we're struggling. Otherwise, it's pretty much the first team 11. Uh, Doyle and Scalvini have gone into central defence. Still got Botman out with injury for a couple more weeks. Um, but our team is so strong at this point. The signing of yours about and Hernandez has absolutely turbocharged us. It's exactly what was missing. Um, and I think like in the summer, what I'll probably do going forward now is get one big name player in each summer and then bring in uh, youngsters with the teams that with the funds that we have left at the end. Now you can see in the table as it stands, we have played a game more than everybody else, uh, but we are still at the top of the table. So if we can win this, we open up an almost unassailable lead, at least for the teams that still have that game in hand on us. But Stamford Bridge, not easy, as they're showing here. And oh, it's gone in. Enzo Fernandez benefiting from some pretty erratic uh, ball bouncing in the middle there. Chilwell picked up the ball on the left and then swung in a deep cross. Enzo was there. Two defenders went for it, didn't clear it. Teo again failed to do it. And, I mean, that's the most instinctive finish of all time because that ball was coming from behind him and he knew to volley it somehow. But Chelsea do have the lead and we now have something to overcome. Nothing like a bit of adversity to test your strength. Uh, everybody else winning today, Spurs, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, all getting the wins at the top of the table. Uh, Chilwell now has a throw in as well, puts it into Nkunku, who's in on goal. It's denied, but we are struggling a little bit here. Eelsbell has it, but can't create anything. Now for Fana. They're absolutely pummeling us here, Chelsea. Chalaba sends it back. This is not what we need. Padiashi to Gallagher. Takes it around the outside. Chilwell dinks it away before we can get the tackle in. Enzo Fernandez has doubled his tally in this one. There's a question here about offside. I'd be surprised about that. Let's see what the referee has to say about it. And it's actually been disallowed. Not really sure what that one's for. Maybe someone got in front of the goalkeeper. But it keeps it a 1-0, which is lucky for us. The team reacting to the team talk a little bit. Chalaba now to Enzo. He seems up for today. Chalaba sends it back to Sanchez. Fana forward. Chalaba. They're playing with three at the back. You'd think that would help us with our wingers, but it just seems to be choking us out a little bit. Sanchez. Very slow, ploddy play, this. And Eelsbaum nearly managed to nick the ball from the Chelsea player. Gallagher, though, with the turn. Gives it away, straight away to Trippier. 
We're a bit more direct in our approach, and he's found Gordon down the right. Ball into Wilson. I think he might have been offside, I'm not sure, but he's absolutely skied that one. Got to do better with that, Callum Wilson. It'll be Isaac coming on at half-time if uh, he's doing things like that. And Kunku now has been tackled. Scalvini brings it forward with Gordon down the right flank, causing trouble. He plays it into Tonali, takes a touch, gets inside, goes for goal. And he is a magician when it comes to chances like that. He's created that so well, all for himself. And we are back on level terms. Lots of credit to Gordon there. New to hold the ball up. Found Tonali, who just beat the defender for pace, cut inside. Oh, and what a nice finish. That's a lovely little goal there. I love those little bits of inspiration where the players create a bit of space themselves, a little half yard, and then finish it. But Nkunku here before half time. He's put that one high and wide, so nothing we need to worry about on that. And it's nearly half time. We throw the ball forward to Wilson. Is there time for one more? Teo Hernandez in Gordon arriving, but just over the top from Anthony Gordon. He's just signed a new contract with us as well, so he's going to be up for it today. I'm going to say I'm happy with how they're performing and see what comes of it in the second half. I am going to take Wilson off now, though, bring the Isaac on. Uh, I don't think Wilson is quite good enough at this stage, so we are going to have to sign probably a young striker to come in for next season as well. As Lavia plays it forward and Kunku causing all kinds of trouble. And that's exactly what he does do. He has caused trouble and Chelsea have the lead again. Throwing from Chalaba to Lavia. Ball just straight as an arrow into Nkunku, who does a horseshoe sort of run and then beats Pope at the near post. I mean, everything about that goal is sloppy from our defensive point of view. And Chelsea now have the lead at Stamford Bridge once more. Doyle forward to Isaac now to Nally to Gordon. Could do with a quick response and Tonali's trying to create one. But Fafana cleans it up. Lavia back to Fafana. Jean Neves wins a good tackle. Doyle over to Scalvini. Now Bruno. Tonali loses out to Chilwell. Sanchez sends it forward. Teo Hernandez pushing around the left flank. Ayol Zabal needs to see more from him today. He's held that one up well. Teo Hernandez to Bruno. And he scores. It's an absolute scorcher from Bruno Guimaraes. Finding the back of the net there. Nice work down the left from Teo Hernandez and Ayol Zabal as well. They just held that ball up. Somehow he got that out to Teo. First time pass to Bruno. Good touch. And then that finish is excellent. Straight into the top corner. And we are back on level terms at 2-2 against Chelsea. Going to encourage the team, see if we can get them to chase that winner. As Chilwell has the ball for Chelsea from the free kick. Badiashi back to Chilwell. Madrid and Gallagher combining. Enzo free. Finds Nkunku. And it's 3-2 to Chelsea. And our defensive unit is absolutely failing in this game. And it's going to cost us pretty dearly as it stands. 3-2 now. Chilwell played the ball down to Mudrick, into Gallagher. He played it across to Enzo and Nkunku. One touch, one finish. Pope may as well not have been in goal today with the way this Chelsea team is just putting the ball in the back of the net. They've had five shots on target and got three goals out of it on 1.68 XG. That says an awful lot about how the goalkeeper has performed. Isaac back to a yours of Bell. Ricochets is not a foul on the edge of the area. Looked like one. Chelsea bring this one out. Sanchez to Fafana. And their ploddy build begins again with Chalobah. This time at least he's been direct and pushing forward. He's played it in. Now Gallagher... And it's 4-2. And this is extremely frustrating to watch. This slow, ploddy football somehow unlocking us when it doesn't normally tend to do that when we play it. We're quite good at pressing, but it's probably a sign the players are... I mean, maybe they're fatigued or maybe they're just not trying very hard. They're back off an international break, so I can't imagine they're that fatigued. But we are not performing to standard. I mean, that's so poor. And then Pope in particular. He's done absolutely nothing to prevent goals in this game as he's conceded four. On a less than two XG. I'm actually going to do it. I'm taking Pope off. I'm really disappointed with his performance in this game. He has definitely cost us at least a couple, at least a point here. Almiron on the attack. 
come back to Teo. He's gone down in the box, and it is a penalty that's been given. Let's see if the uh, referee sticks to his decision. I mean, there'd still be 10 minutes left for Roper to put this one in. And it is indeed a penalty. Going to try and encourage the team, regardless of how this goes. Isaac with the penalty does score, sends keeper the wrong way. And it is now 4-3, his 29th goal of the season. A nice little finish from him. Just steps up and finds that right-hand side of the net. 4-3 now, 10 minutes to go. We've got a new goalkeeper on the pitch. Is that going to be a factor in at least us not conceding goals? Five minutes or so left to go. Try and keep the team going. Almoron's got a knock, but he's going to have to play through it because we don't have anybody else to bring on. And time is up. We've lost this game. Really disappointing. Uh, I blame Nick Pope for that, to be honest. Uh, the defence were a bit slow. We weren't pressing properly, and Chelsea have gone to the top of the league as well. Um, so we are in a bit of trouble there. Well, we've got a bid come in. 30 million for Harvey Barnes. Make it 35 and you got a deal. There we go, 35 million. Um, but if we have a look at the competition screen here, you see Chelsea two points clear with the game in hand. We may have just lost the title to Chelsea on the back of that game. Next episode, we're going to have United and two games against Atletico Madrid to enjoy. And then after that, we are into the last few games of the season. So do drop a like on the video if you're enjoying this series, despite that disappointing defeat. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to find out what happens uh, in the Premier League title race and the Champions League quarterfinals. But until next time. See ya.